Hey YouTubers, um, I've got a bunch of little projects I'm working on. Um, I turned my little spare bedroom into a lab. Uh, and this is quite a mess, but I know where everything is and it'll get cleaned up hopefully pretty soon. I don't have a lot of time to work on it. Uh, or in it rather um, but I'll eventually get to it and organize everything um, I actually started uh, being interested in electronics uh, maybe a couple of months ago from this point um, and it's uh, interesting how technology changes our lives and well when I was in high school I made a um, speaker box with a stereo in it a car stereo that is and uh, it had uh, 10 inch subwoofers and it was loud and it really thumped and it was portable so I could take uh, my 10 inch woofers uh, and my stereo I would take it out of the box and put it in the car and take it out of the car and put it in the box and it was you know it was portable so now technologies where they have amplifiers that are so small they're the size almost the size of a quarter this little uh amplifier right here is uh what is it 10 watts with uh four ohm speakers and it's 15 watts um no uh, i take that back it's 10 watts with eight ohm speakers and uh what is it uh, got all mix, mixed up. 8 watts. No, uh, 8 ohm, 10 watts. 15 watts, 4 ohms. I'm still learning all this stuff. Um, anyway, these, uh, this is a little gadget right here that I've got. This is a capacitor bank that I saw on eBay on, eBay, on uh, YouTube one day. And it was very interesting to me. And so that's, that actually is what uh, got me started in all of this mess right here in just two months. And so I'm learning as I go. I mean, I've never done this before. But uh, I actually am quite intrigued about supercapacitors. Uh, these are uh, from China. Uh, they're, what is it, 250? What is it, 250 or 200? Or, no, they're 500 farad. 500 farad capacitors, 2.7 volts each. I uh, purchased 10 of them from China, and um, they're as good as the 250 Maxwell. Uh, these these guys right here are made in the good old US, US of A. Maxwell supercapacitors, and these are 350 farads at 2.7 volts. Uh, these are very sturdy. You know, the terminals are a lot more uh, um, substantial than the, these these right here. But you know they do the same thing. They charge and discharge very quickly. And as for that right there, I'm uh, making a little uh, battery. Um, well, a, a car starter, not a starter. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a jumper. When your battery dies in the car because you leave the lights on or whatever and you go one day to crank it and it won't crank. Well, that's what that's for. Uh, this, these uh, are lithium-ion batteries and they're going to be charging the, the uh, uh, bank in about... They charge in about, uh, what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, under a minute. So I thought that was impressive. And um, I got the idea from... Well, actually, no, that was my idea. As soon as I saw the capacitors on, on uh, one of the YouTube videos, uh, I, it just, you know, light bulb went off. And, and that's actually, again, how I got started. Uh, in waiting for parts, uh, I have to, you know, find parts that I don't even know exist. So I have to do all this research just to find out what I need and uh, what's in my head anyway and, and see if I could find it. Uh, and it's not that easy. Uh, because, like I said, you know, this is, I've only been two months uh, into it, and um, I'm just an average Joe. 
So anyway, this is a little speaker box that I just finished. Uh, these are two inch little drivers, uh, BMR, and they sound pretty good. I'll uh, give you a demonstration uh, at some point in the future. Um, right now, I, I just I'm lo uploading this video just so you, to see if anybody's interested in in all of this uh, stuff, uh, making different little gadgets out of supercapacitors. Uh, I find it uh, well, it's it's a hobby, I guess. I I um, I do a lot of things around the house, uh, um, and this is just another another thing that I. That I'm learning actually, as like I said earlier, um, as I go. So uh, I just purchased this thing right here. This is a lab. Uh, I, I forget the names of, of these things. Like I said, I'm just learning all this stuff. But it's uh, Corad. Um, I'll do a review on this one. It's a Corad uh, KA thirty ten D power supply, thirty volts, ten amps. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a little expensive at 160 something dollars, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It it's helping me do everything uh, that I that I'm learning, so it makes uh, my job a lot easier. Uh, this little thing right here, I I made it uh, for it's a plastic bender. So I'll be showing you that as well, uh, eventually. And this is uh, what it can do. This right here is polycarbonate. And I it's a flat sheet. And just place it there. And, and you also, there's a um, little wire that goes from one end to the other. And it turns red hot. And that's what uh, bends this, this thing perfectly. I mean, there's no, well, hardly any blemishes. There's little micro bubbles in this corner that you probably can't see in the uh, in the in the film in the camera there no you can't see it but there's just very very minute blemishes there in that corner but uh, you know they're very 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 good I was impressed and um, this is the other part for the multi boost uh, multi booster I'm experimenting with that and trying to figure everything out and this is what it's going to look like. Um, this is the other part. Now I built the, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the board, the little, uh, uh, shoot, I can't think of the name. Well, this thing right here, this little uh, circuit board, there you go, circuit board. I also uh, learned how to make it and uh, using black marker. I think I have another one around here somewhere that I can show you. Here it is. This right here. So I traced it on a piece of paper, the little holes, and then I just figured a, a way to just color them in with uh, with uh, black uh, marker. And that's what it... Uh, oh, and, and using a special type of acid, which I don't remember the name of right now, uh, and then uh, some type of tin to make it look white, um, and it uh, it works great. It's uh, I'm, right now I'm trying to figure out a way to balance it, and there was a few things on online that I found that didn't really work for me, uh, so I ended up using high uh, high output LEDs or. Uh, they discharge the capacitors faster than what I found online using a, um, a diode, uh, what do you call it, uh, Zener diodes and or uh, other, another type of, uh, what is it, uh, short uh, switching diodes. Um, I found out that the lights by themselves have a higher uh, amperage and that kind of sucks the juice out of the out of the uh, pack. But for what I intend to use it, that is okay, um, because it's going to be charged very very fast, uh, and it's going to be discharged very very fast. So for an application where you know too much juice is uh, uh, needed, 
this works out better than uh, than just not having anything at all. For something that you know that drives this little thing right here, that little amplifier I showed you a while ago. Um, well, it, it's um, it draws a lot of amperage at full volume. This little chip draws about 1,000 uh, milliamps. Uh, that's that that equal to one amp, and it sucks it up. You know with Maybe four or five songs, it's it, it um, lowers the the uh, voltage down to about six, and that's the limit of the of the little chip there. But anyway, I got a bunch of little projects, and um, I'm gonna start. Hopefully, um, if you guys are interested, selling them on on eBay, so I can get some of the money I've I've invested in accumulating all this stuff. Um, and I'll be showing you, oh wow, uh, this right here, this is uh, off of a computer, a power supply. Um, I'm eventually going to start making a, a robot, a CNC machine, with a three-axis CNC machine. And I've got uh, stepper motors, and I've got, uh, uh, well, I don't have the software, but I've already looked uh, into that, and it's readily available. I have to turn one of my computers uh, into a dedicated CNC, um, whatchamacallit, this is an old motion computing computer, um, it's old, my girls already have, uh, um, tablets, so they, you know, that doesn't get used anymore, and instead of throwing it away or, or giving it away, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it, uh, to good use, and, um, uh, Hopefully that'll help me create, you know, these, uh, this stuff right here. And, um, will also help me with the, with, uh, designing, uh, circuit boards. And putting the holes in them and, and whatnot. And also this is the case for the multi-booster. Well, that's what it's going to be called. It's going to have, uh, lights. It's going to have... Uh, you wouldn't be able to uh, boost your car with it. Um, it's not going to be uh, too efficient, but it'll you know it'll crank a car that it's uh, finely tuned. If you have a car that's been sitting there for like three months, uh, it's not going to work because the capacity of the uh, super capacitors it just isn't enough. It's only good for one for one crank. Uh, and, and if it doesn't start, then, you know, you have to recharge it. Um, and the little battery pack in my testing uh, is only good for about um, maybe four or five tries uh, before it needs charging. Um, and that's my initial, you know, um, testing once I finish uh, uh, with the unit, and, and if I f if I find that it's uh, adequate, well, well, it is adequate for small engines like lawnmowers and snowmobiles, boats. I think that's where it's gonna be, uh, where it's gonna shine, um, because once it starts, I mean, you don't need a battery because you can always restart it with just the capacitor bank. Um, and, you know, indefinitely, as long as it starts, you know, within the first, uh, crank or so, then you're good to go, uh, for small engines. For cars, uh, it'll start it, but like I said, only if it's finely tuned and in the first try. Uh, they just, um, they're just very, it's a very compact unit. Um, as you can see, it's, it's regular D-sized batteries. Uh, they're the size of regular D-size batteries, um, and I can't wait to start showing you guys all my little uh, projects, um, and uh, I'll see if uh, you guys are interested. Um, I may even do some, uh, let's see, I'll do some reviews and all the stuff that, I, that I've bought, that I've purchased. And I'll do uh, maybe how-to articles 
Um, like I said, I know a bunch of other things. I know um, mechanic, auto mechanic uh, uh, work, upholstery. Uh, uh, I'm a jack of all trades. I've I've done many many things. And um, if you guys are interested, I'll start uh, uploading videos. So, again, um, we'll see how it goes. Peace out.